Hi guys, Christy here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys another Deleon Tools review video, and I'm super excited to be filming this because I really like doing my last video. If you guys haven't seen my recent one, I'll be sure to link that on the description box below for you guys, as well as all other information involving the brand and all about the products that I'm talking about today, as well as my social media links. Before I begin, I want to share with you guys a couple disclaimers. First, I don't know if you guys can tell I'm kind of sick. I don't think this is my real voice. I feel like I'm getting sick. I don't even know if that's a scammer disclaimer, but I just want to let you guys know that. <laughs> First, this is not a sponsored video. All opinions are my own, and I'm completely honest. Second, I want to let you guys know that I received these products as complimentary as part of the Delian Tools product review program. And third, these products are not washed. I used them this morning. I used them right now to create this makeup look to film this video for you guys. And I've been using them for the past couple of days because I really want to let you guys know my true opinion and what I think about them. Also, I'll be having a bunch of information on the description box below for you guys, like their link, also the links on where you buy these products as well as my last video like I mentioned earlier. If you guys are interested in this video, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so these are the brushes that I'll be reviewing within this video. You got your Duet Fiber Foundation Brush, your Angled Brow Brush, your Angled Shadow Brush, as well as a Retractable Lip Brush. And I think I'll just be going just in that order. So first up, I have the Delium Tools 953 brush, and this is what that looks like. This is the Do It Fiber Foundation Brush. A couple of thoughts that came to mind when I first saw this was that its face was really little. I was not sure that I was going to cover a lot of space in my face, so I really thought that it was going to take me a long time to blend foundation out. Second, the bristles are really, really soft, so I did not think that I was going to blend it out so much or so well. But I was wrong. Okay, it blends foundation so nicely. It does make up for the fact that it's super little, the fact that it blends out really nicely and super fast because it's really effortless and I don't even I don't even have to try so hard to blend it out because it does it for me. I really recommend this brush if you guys are looking for a new foundation brush and just want to get super ready. Oh, also I feel like it picks up product pretty well. It evens it out like it blends the foundation out really evenly that it actually feels like a light layer of foundation. Another thing that I want to let you guys know is that I don't just use this for foundation. I also use it for my blush as well as my contour because like I said it blends so easily and so effortlessly it just blends any kind of product. Next up I have my 763 brush and this is their angled brow brush. I really like that it's not so soft and not so stiff either it's like right in the middle so it's really perfect. I use this for my eyebrows so I use it for what's what it's for. I also use it for my outer corner eyeliner just when I want to do like a little wing. I really like that it has a super long handle. I don't know why I really like that with all these. I feel more comfortable when holding the brush. And the way that I use this is for my eyebrows. I have my hands super close to the tips of it whenever I want to have a precise eyebrow um, when I'm filling it in. And I have it all the way at the end when I really want it to be natural and I'm barely touching my eyebrow. So I really like um, the long handles. You know, you can use it differently. And I just... All the other eyebrows that I have are like this tiny. And I don't... I, I don't feel comfortable applying uh, my pomade on my eyebrow like that. This is super long. It's like a pencil and super easy. So the next brush that I'm going to talk about is their 766 brush. And this is their angled shadow brush. And when I first saw this, I wasn't sure what it's for. I've never owned a brush like this before. But I instantly knew it's super easy to apply eyeshadow with it and super blendable. For example, today I applied it right in between my crease and my brow bone. So right above right here. I feel like this brush is so perfect whenever you do a cut crease. If you keep going, it instantly just cuts, cuts it out because of the way that it's shaped. I also really like applying this whenever I want an outer V because it's angled. It's so much easier. You could pretty much use it for anything. It's like a normal shadow brush as well as an angled shadow brush. I feel like it's really multitask. I would probably use it mostly for the outer V and for the cut crease. So the last brush that I have to review for you guys is the 555 brush. And this is the retractable lip brush. Guys, all you have to do is pull it and then there's your brush. I really like that it's retractable. I also really like the color. It feels so luxurious. But this is so weird, guys. It's really stiff. But it's also really flexible when you're working with it. 
I honestly feel like I'm painting my face, my painting my lips because it's so easy to move with, and I really like the stiffness when I'm doing the cupid's bow. So I really feel like I almost dropped it. I really feel like this is really well put together. I like the color. I just love everything about this brush. Another thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that I love the size. It's super tiny and it's super easy to use. I love everything about it. I love the color. I love the feel of it. And it also makes a perfect pair with a lipstick. Like, look at that. You can have it in your hands. You can have it on your go. And I really like that they could just fit anywhere together. Like, in my purse, in my pocket, anywhere. I really like it so much. Like, I am completely obsessed. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And don't forget to share and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.